Hey, welcome to Jank Town. Will here, and today we'll be doing a quick deck tech on the Rakdos version of the Witch King, Witch King Sky Scourge. So he's a 7 mana value 5 5 flying Wraith Noble that reads whenever we attack with one or more Wraiths, exile the top X cards of our library where X is the total power. We can then play those cards this turn. The Witch King also has Undying, which means when it dies, if it had no plus one plus one counters on it, we can then return it to the battlefield under our control with a plus one plus one counter. So the first thing I generally like to do when creating a deck is I try to figure out what is the role of our commander. And while the Witch King's abilities are powerful, we can't ignore that he costs seven. Seven mana value is already pretty late in the game. By that time, people are already throwing down bombs or trying to end games. The Witch King reads more like a card advantage engine. Now card advantage is great, but if you're waiting until turn 7, it's probably already a little too late. So while his abilities read like an enabler or a build around, it's gonna be a really difficult road for us if we're gonna rely on it since it comes down so late. So the Witch King is really more like a support commander. Sure, big flyer in the sky can probably knock opponents out if they're low on their life totals, but I think his true power really lies on letting us catch up if we fall behind or let us dig deep in our deck if we need a key piece to close out the game. The Witch King can support a wide array of strategies. And before I give my suggestion, something I will advise though is that we shouldn't fall for Wraith Tribal. It sounds really cool and I know it's tempting to build that way, but I think it's a trap mechanic. I run a Lord of the Nazgul deck, uh, complete with all nine Nazgul, a bunch of wraiths, clones, changelings, and it's a cantrip deck, so you know that it already draws a lot of cards. And from my experience, as cool as the Nazgul are, I probably only see like two or maybe three of them in a game. And the reality is it's pretty difficult to amass enough of them so that one, they'll survive, and two, so that they can impact the game in a, in a huge way. Now Storm or Exile are definitely possibilities of where we can take it, but what I'm proposing is an aggressive, low to the ground deck that's focused on wanting to attack. Now you can choose from your favorite low mana value type of creatures. I'm showing goblins on the screen because these guys get more dangerous the larger their numbers. And plus, they're faster than zombies. But if you're looking for other creature types, you can also check out rats, uh, vampires, maybe even humans. But I don't know, I think goblins Goblins are just the most synergistic creature type to go with because they scale really well. Now this kind of playstyle is a type that likes to commit to the board and if we're not going combo, we're trying to win by just overwhelming our opponents and pressing our advantage. The main weakness though is getting stuffed, like if you get board wiped or there's just multiple board wipes, we can be left out of gas and out of threats. Fortunately though, the Witch King is all about that late game recovery. Something I wouldn't worry too much about though is trying to give the Witch King haste. I mean, we're in Rakdos, we're spending seven mana to get him, I don't know how much mana we'll have left over. Plus, since he has Undying, we'll be able to tank a removal spell or a board wipe, allowing him to attack when the turn comes back to us. Even if he's the only Wraith on our board, being able to dig five to six cards deep, I, I think is already enough. Right, we get to play a land, we probably get to play like two spells, it gives us a chance to just get back into the game. And if we're ahead, that means we can then start looking for a finisher, like in the form of extra power, extra damage, just as a means to be able to close out the game. And that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that and found it useful. If you'd like to support the channel, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Those things seem small, but they really go a long way in helping the channel out. Quick channel update, I will be taking a short break. I'm being flown to Vegas to give a couple of talks. Uh, pretty cool, but I'm also pretty nervous about them. Wish me luck, I hope I do okay. In the meantime, you can check out my other videos here. Uh, I put a lot of effort into them, I hope it shows. In any case, stay inspired friends, and I'll see you in December. <laughs>